Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about one of the strongest builds in New World. It's when it comes to PvE, Life Staff and Void Gauntlet are definitely the best when it comes to healing. So, M10 Gold Expeditions usually take me and my buddies, if we're not playing, you know, these meta builds, 25, 35, even 40 minutes if we've, you know, failed a couple times. These guys are doing it in less than 15 minutes, and consecutively and very consistently, continuing to do a lot of great things so here you can see the life staff abilities that we're going to take kind of obvious abilities these are going to be aoe abilities that are going to heal your whole team and keep them alive this is going to be orb of protection sacred ground and beacon of course you can also pause the video if you guys need to during these uh kind of build guides so you guys can make sure to get all of those certain attributes and certain perks and abilities that will be coming up on the screen in the next couple of minutes so here we have next the void gauntlet so this is more of a dps build you're going to use your void blade to keep your oblivion active and you can spam orb of decays in between void blade light hits to really get massive heals this is like 5k plus if you pop it on yourself so they're running this specifically like i said for that fast clear time this is going to help them get that and it's also going to help them get those heals to them personally so very very strong to run that void gauntlet with that dps if you're looking for more of a utility void gauntlet here's what you're looking for so this void gauntlet is more of a main purpose of keeping oblivion active with scream for disease we avoid the plus 15 stamina per second on oblivion due to it reducing the uptime of opal gems if your team is not using opal gems in their weapons take this perk to dodge more so you're going to see a lot of people using this kind of Void Gauntlet build much more than the damage build just because Life Staff users typically aren't used to doing damage. So this is definitely a viable build as well and I've seen a lot of people use this utility build in many many different dungeon runs that have done very very well and I think they're going to continue to do well with it. You can see here they're having a little bit of trouble with the Life Staff. Uh, they're trying to just grab so many mobs at a time. No worries though they got them all in that corner. They're going to continue this world record run pace and move on forward i just want to show you guys an example of what a void gauntlet would look like if you're looking for a really really good one you have refreshing move enchanted the only thing you're going to want to replace in this void gauntlet is that luck for a bane type so corrupted bane lost bane whatever you're going up against obviously you're going to want corrupted bane in the dynasty shipyard so next up if you're going for a life staff and you want a life staff that does really really well with this build the most obvious is going to be Will of the Ancients. Will of the Ancients gives you 30 focus, Blessed, which is going to give you plus 20 healing bonus, Refreshing move yet again, and then Refreshing giving you reducing max cooldowns by 2.8%. It's absolutely huge for every healer to continue to run Lazarus Instrumentality until they get this life staff. So now I want to jump into some of the most important parts of your build. Of course, it's going to be the perks. The perks are going to be huge for anybody running this healer build. You're going to need Fortifying Sacred Ground, which basically allies healed by Sacred Ground gain Fortify, increasing damage absorption by 16% for 5 seconds. That's huge. It's going to allow your team to continue to gain that damage absorption and really stay alive in these dungeons that are doing so much damage. Also, Diminishing Orb on your Void Gauntlet is huge, so on hit, Orb of Decay reduces the duration of the target's non-consumable buffs by 70%. So this helps in certain situations as well, it's going to be a very big bonus for your team to continue working through these dungeons. Next we have Mending Protection. Increase healing power by 42% for 3 seconds if Orb of Protection heals an ally with less than 50% health. So the healing power going to be increased by 42% for 3 seconds will obviously help you guys get from 0 health to full health very, very quickly. Next up, Vicious Beacon. When Beacon heals a player, they gain plus 10% critical chance for 6 seconds. This is solid, of course, just because you're going to want to do as much damage as possible as a team in these expeditions. So a very, very strong life staff is, like I said, that Will of Ancients with some of these perks involved as well. Next, we have Petrifying Scream. So on successful hit, Petrifying Scream inflicts disease, reducing the target's healing by 40% for 8 seconds. Depending on the mob or the boss, you're going to have to use that Petrifying Scream to your advantage, and it's also going to be nice CC as well to continue them in those clumps. So Nullifying Oblivion is next, and on activation, Oblivion removes limited duration buffs from enemies within its radius. Oblivion recharges 14% faster. That's a huge perk to definitely grab as well. So now when we take a look at some of the gems you're going to want in these dungeons, it depends on what dungeon you're doing specifically for the Void Gauntlet, 
but when it comes to the life staff, the cut for Steen Diamond is going to take the cake. 15% outgoing healing while at full health is just going to be massive for your teammates, a lot more healing going out, and that's going to be something you need to take with this build. But when it comes to the Void Gauntlet, Cut Pristine Opal is probably something you're going to want to take with the Ancients, as it's going to help you do more damage when you're not at full stamina. But when it comes to the Angry Earth, you're going to want to take the Cut Pristine Ruby inside of your Void Gauntlet to do more damage. We also have, when it comes to the Corrupted and the Lost, Cut Flawed Amber actually does the most for you. It's going to provide you the most damage, and it's definitely going to be the best option for you. And when it comes to attributes, you're obviously going to want to get past your 300 focus. However, running 300 focus and dumping the rest in constitution isn't always the best play. If you're not dying, continue to bump more into focus and less into constitution until you find a sweet spot. That's what most players do, and they really have great success with it. So I think we covered everything, but I do have a couple tips for everybody just getting started with this Life Staff Void Gauntlet build. If you guys are new to this build, AoE heals play very similar to a Fire Staff. Disable target healing and aim your crosshair at your teammates. Petrifying Scream is more important on nature mutations. If you want to run more DPS, you can actually swap your Scream for Void Blade plus Voracious Blade, and some it helps, but it is not required. There is alternative skill trees, like I said, at the beginning of the video for damage and utility when it comes to your Void Gauntlet. If you guys want to continue to watch the rest of this video, I definitely suggest doing so. It's a very, very high skilled run buy a Void Gauntlet Life Staff user, and there won't be any more pop-ups showing you guys the build at this point. You'll be able to just kind of watch it in peace. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on.